MLM CZ4 writes, Does anyone know how to connect together page protectors to make them fold out like panoramic two page to four page? I'm looking for ways to use page protectors in new ways with post bound and three ring albums. Glitter Girl, can you help MLM CZ4 solve the page protector problem? Of course I can. This week, let's look at two different projects, one with fold out pages and one with pockets. And then I also have a little trick for you on page protector storage. Let's start with fold out pages. So one option to add more by customizing page protectors is to just find a layout that is already in your album or you've just made a page and you really have more photos that you want to add to that story and you have enough of the supplies or the, the colors that you've used to make something else go along with it. And then you just take another page protector and it could be any size or any um, divided type or anything and then see what will work with the photos you have and the space that you um, have free on the layout. So I have a large photo here and all of the embellishment and journaling is in one area and I have six more photos. They're all four by six and they're all landscape that I'd like to include. So what I'm going to do is start with a divided page protector from American Crafts which would normally hold six landscape photos on each side or four by six journaling cards, embellishment cards, whatever you want to add in those spaces. And if you cut this in half, you then have a six by 12 with three slots because it still has the ring, um, the ring binder piece on the side. But then you end up with this piece that seems like waste. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this part um, away for now and I'm just going to use the piece that would normally be waste. So you can cut a page protector with either your trimmer or scissors and I'm just cutting right down the middle and then this is a page protector I can use for six photos for a little interlude between two double page spreads and if this is too loose and the photos start to slip off then I would just close that with tape but because this side has the rings that's not really um, anything I have to customize so I'm going to set that one aside and that is uh, too easy for you you can do that no problem you don't need my help but let's look at what we would do with this one because this then might be something you would throw away. Now really, there's a lot of potential here because look, you can fold this up and make this into a little mini album that would sit on the page, but unfortunately that doesn't really fit with the design here, but it's just an idea for you to take away. But what I do want to do is include this on my layout as something that will open and close. So what I'm going to do is add all of my photos to the page protector slots. Now you don't have to use all photos, but I am today. You could um, you could put in title, journaling cards, memorabilia, anything you want, but just the point is just to fill the spots. And of course you could go back and embellish the photos individually if you like totally up to you because we're just looking at how the page protector works so the design style is completely your choice. I want to carry this embellishment and, and color theme through. What I've used for this is the Social Club paper pack from Cosmo Cricut and this is a collection um, it's not brand new but it's not very old either it's got this lovely rich blue, a, a mustardy yellow, a nice spring green, and then a hint of red. I've used quite a bit of it already, but I just wanted to show you this line. It has this really versatile notebook paper, a lot of letters that you can either use as a sheet or cut out. Um, yeah, really nice set and uh, definitely a, a good deal at the store at the moment, so there you go. And I used some of these here and I've cut out a few more to add to the photographs. So I'm going to find a few spots. To add these in, I'm just add, adding them flush to the edge of the photo. And this one is a little large, I'm going to use this on the other side. But I know that it's going to be pretty big, so what I'm going to do is take this photo out, place it up here, and just um, trim off the extra. 
So at this stage, I've added my journaling, my embellishment, and I could add more and more to these photos, but I actually quite like the, the photos just to be able to be seen mostly for themselves. So what I want to do is for this to be able to attach here, instead of being something in the center of the album where it would um, fit on the rings, I want it to fit toward the outside of the album and flip toward the outside as you read the book. So what I need to do is attach it to the edge. This is also the open side of the page protector, so it helps if I attach it here so that the photos won't fall out. And my secret to that is washi tape. So I'm going to line up the two page protectors, run the tape so there's a little bit off the edge, and then try and center the edge of this page protector so it's halfway th through the piece of tape. Of course it's going to slip a little bit. There we go. So now here's the sticky side of the tape. Just pressing this all down. Then I line up the page protector here try and get them as even as possible and fold the tape over make sure these ends go tape to tape so it's very strong. Cut off the extra. I do leave a little bit just so it keeps it stuck together. And then the page will open and close. You can put another layer here if it seems like it needs a bit more strength. And then when I put this in the album, I just press this together. And because it's washi tape and not a normal sticky tape, it will unstick, open and close without any trouble. And it won't, it won't just rip here or, or make it impossible to open because washi tape um, sticks, but it's not overly, overly sticky. It's also worth noting that some washi tapes stick stronger than others. So test it to make sure it's going to hold the weight of the page protector. Um, but this one is from um, from the boutique here at, at Two Peas in a Bucket, and it sticks really well. I've used it on lots of page protector projects, um, and there, it, this comes in lots of different colors and patterns. So there are definitely some things there that you can use. <laughs>